Hey YouTube, this is Candy Shop 511. I'm going to come at you with my first nail tutorial. Um, here's what you'll need. A Q-tip, or a cotton swab, fingernail polish remover, just in case you make mistakes. Whenever I do my nails, I always do, so I make sure I have those nearby. Um, another thing you'll need is two colors. I'm using two colors. I'm using black and white. Um, you can actually use pink, any kind of color, it doesn't matter, but today I'm going to use black and white. And um, these are pretty handy, I found them at my hair store. <clears throat> and they have a really narrow point on them like that. So it makes it easy for doing designs and such. If by chance you don't have those, it's totally fine. Backup use, regular bottle of um, nail polish with a big brush. You can't get very detailed with that brush because it's pretty big. You guys already know that. So what I do is I just take either a kebab stick with a point or a toothpick and you just dip in the color and there you go. You have a defining point to make your designs. Alright, last but not least you're going to need a top coat and it's just going to protect your style, protect it from chipping, flaking, changing colors, fading, any of that stuff that you don't want to happen after putting in all that work. So, for starters, I just did white tips for my French tips. These are not a requirement. I just like having French tips. Um, my nails aren't fake right now. They're my, actually my nails. I've been growing them out. And, um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and show you the next step. Okay, for the next step, what you're going to want to do is take your white polish or whichever first color you're starting with if you have separate or different colors than I do and you're going to start at the bottom corner doesn't matter which corner you pick and make a horizontal line I'm sorry not horizontal a slanted line right in the middle there of your entire nail and that's the first step second step is you're going to want to take your secondary color, for me it's black, and make a line on the left and the right side of that center line. Now you're going to want to make sure you get it dark so that it's defined, but not too dark so that it bleeds into the other colors, okay? And my second line here. There we go. And this is where these um, thinner brushes really come in handy because um, it, it it's really easy actually. I mean, they make it a lot easier to get the details that you want without the errors. So there it goes. That's your first step with three stripes. And I'll be back with the second step. Okay, since with the first segment, what we did was put the white in the middle and then the secondary color on the outside, we're gonna do the opposite for the um, second layer. So we're gonna start off with our black through the middle of the nail going um, at a slant. And then on either side of it, both sides of it, we wanna do white just the opposite of what we just did. So, let me get my black. Now we're just gonna go from the bottom right on up. Just like that. Then we're gonna take our white once again. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna sandwich that center black line. Make sure you have enough on there. And here it goes. And 
All right, and as for the last line for the second layer, just repeat. And I made a mistake. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I did get some white on my um, skin there. So I'm just going to take some of my nail polish remover and correct that really quick. Because if I don't, it's going to bother me. I like them as perfect as possible. So there we go. And that's your look. You have a plaid black and white nail with a French tip. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I'll come to you in a few seconds and um, show you all of them completed. All right. Thanks for watching. Any questions or comments or requests, go ahead and make them. And I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Bye. Okay, YouTubers, so I just finished all of the nails, and I uh, just wanted to show you the finished look. Um, here we are. So I went ahead and did the white tips, which you guys got to see from the start, and um, I did the black line in the middle. Well, you guys already saw it, but anyway, this is the finished look you'll get. It's kind of like a plaid look, I guess, but um, I really, really like it. It's my first time doing it this way, with these colors anyway. So there's the look. I hope that you guys can see this because it's kind of bright. But um, there we go. And I tried to take some pictures, but they didn't come out too well. So that's why I'm doing a little video. All right. Any questions or requests, as usual, go ahead and let me know. And I will respond as soon as possible. You guys take care. Bye-bye.